Thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Well, I've got this wonderful Lotus Bowl mould and I will link it in the description below. Now this is never going to be made for food because as you know I don't believe resin is food safe so I'd never let food touch this but it can be used for trinkets and putting other little plants in or things and I want to test out these chameleon powders because what I've done before is I've only brushed them on and I want to see how well this time that they blend in with each other if I pour three different colours in the resin and see what happens. So I've got my resin mixed up now and so it's just a case of popping in some of the chameleon powder. Now you don't need to put too much in. It really is quite a concentrated pigment. That is given a lovely shade in there. I've also discovered that if you put a little bit of transparent pigment or an opaque pigment in with these chameleon flakes, you still get an amazing, really rich colour and it works really well. Also, check out my other crafting channel. I do lots of different crafts over there. It's called Steve McDonald Crafting. Love to see you over. If you check over, then leave me a little comment so I know you've been. I also have Facebook and Instagram now as well, so check those links out in the description. Instagram's going really well and I do behind the scenes photographs and early pictures of projects as well. As well as the free downloadable new newsletter and other links that are available on my website again in the description below so give this a really good stir and it's ready to use oh, those colors are so pretty in there i went a long time before using these chameleon powders for no uh, no reason really but now i've got them i can't stop using them i absolutely love them i have no idea how this is going to turn out either which is always lovely i love it so all i'm going to do is pour these in like this no real set pattern to it. I'm just popping them in where I think they need to be popped in. This is the first time I've cast with this bowl as well, so I have no idea what it's going to come out like. Right, we need to do a bit of squidgy widgy because I can see there's quite a few bubbles that are caught under this lip, and I don't want them there. So giving it a bit of squidgy widgy all the way around. Let's put a bit more of that in, a bit more of that, and a bit more of that. And I won't be wasting any that's left over. All that will get used in jewellery pieces that I'll do something with as well. So let's burst the bubbles that are going over the top of that. And then we'll leave that to cure for the next 24 hours before we demould it. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this has come out with these chameleon mica powder. Oh, this is a bit awkward to get, <laughs> to get in there. Oh, that really has, I love these chameleon flakes. They give such a great finish. And I wanted that little bit of transparency in there with those multi colors. And that's why I didn't put any other color with it or didn't put too many in there. And that is a really, really pretty bowl. Let's leaf those bits with some gold leaf. And whenever you're leafing, it's always better to use the correct glue for this rather than try and cheap out and use Mod Podge or something like that. And what I'm using here is a water-based gold leaf or gilding adhesive and a micro brush to put it on with. As you've seen me do in loads and loads of videos, all you do is you put it on like that, wherever you want the leaf to be, and then let it dry. And then once it's dry, it goes sticky and then you can attach your gold leaf to it. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work out because I think I ended up getting glue everywhere. And that is the biggest problem that you can have with putting anything leaf on anything because it will stick to wherever the glue is. And I have no idea where it is. I've got it all over my hands and everywhere in the end. <laughs> but we will keep going. So all I'm doing is pushing on my leaf like that, taking a brush and brushing that off. And this is just a soft brush I'm using here. Go and do the other bit. It's not coming out too bad. I'd like to say a quick thank you to all the people that got me a coffee last month. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It really helps keep this channel going. I know times are tough at the moment, so there isn't as many coffees. But the ones that you get, honestly, they mean the world to you. And also a massive thank you to all my members whose continued support is always great and we have a lovely time in the members group as well we have live streams we have different events going on competitions and everyone is there really wanting to help and support each other so if you're new to resin or you've got a lot to offer and give then that group is really 
worth uh, joining. You'll love it. Now, rather than using fresh sheets on every bit, I do try and reposition bits that come off as well, because once you've rubbed it in with a soft brush, it actually sticks in and you'd never know that you were using little bits. And these are makeup brushes that I'm using here. Again, I open up a sheet. I, this is where I need an extra hand, really. I suppose if I had my sheets open earlier, then it would make life a lot easier. But then I tend to blow on them and knock them all over or get them all on the floor. And then roll the bowl in it as well. And that will pick up the gilding and give you a really nice, secure finish. And this is where, again, I'm pulling off these corners rather than rubbing it away and adding them onto the piece to save me time as well as money in using up all the guilting that I'm not going to use. I'd want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor and here's more about them. A huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I use FlexiSpot desks all the time. I've got three of them. So to learn more about why you should get one of these, check this out. There are a lot of benefits to using a standing desk and this E7 is no exception. And on the FlexiSpot website, you can see what all the benefits are. And it certainly really does help if you've got back problems. And it is really good for your productivity as well. During the period of the 22nd of May to the 26th of May, they've got a brand Brand sale of up to 33% off and all the links for everything that you'll need to get hold of a flexi spot desk are in the description below and you can choose different colors of the desk along with different colors of the worktop as well this is my first flexi spot desk and I use it in my crafting room and it's my cricket area and I can use it standing up sitting down when I'm making jewelry using my cricket it is brilliant I also have this one as well where I do all my admin and my editing and I spend a lot of time at these and I also have this one which is a brand new one which is the third one I've got because I'm starting a new channel very soon. I intend to be on camera for this one a lot so I may be sitting down but I may be standing up so it's really important for me to be able to have a desk that moves. Well even though I made a complete hash of putting the glue on I got it everywhere. I knew I had because it was all over my hands and as I was touching it it was just getting sticky and stickier. I really like how it's come out. It's kind of antiqued it a little bit as well. I think it's made it look really, really pretty. Let me know what you think. It would have been nicer if it had been very detailed. But that ain't me, is it? Let's be honest. Hope you've enjoyed this project. Let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next if you want to learn more about using resin and gain some experience on how to make products that sell. Don't forget to hit that like button and also that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and experiments and information. And mess ups as well. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.